Yo, what's up everybody? So we're doing the workout videos, but we're gonna be doing the Blade X specific exercises today. So we gotta get at it. We just gotta go for it. So you guys are gonna be able to place these however you want. I like the long side in and angling away. Some people like to have their feet angled this way. Let's just do it my way, because it's my workout right now. Use weights if you've got them, right? I'll use, uh, these are 15s, just to kind of get my legs burning, okay? And you can hold these however you want, but I like to do about 15 reps. We may get there, we might not. This one kind of depends on, this one kind of depends on how distracted I get, I guess. But uh, really, you're trying to get that full range of motion. So I'm sitting into my heels, all the way down, right? Come back up, take your time with the form. That's the key. Gotta warm up those knees. If you wanna just dump them, you're feeling the knees a little bit, no weights, that's totally cool. If you can't get all the way down, get down to where you can. I can guarantee you that if you were to flip these, you'd be able to get lower, because your heels would be elevated a little bit more. Let's, they're burning, let's get a few more. Here we go. Okay, for those of you that are Advanced, let's just try the one-legged. Okay, obviously you'll do 15 each leg. And you may not get that butt all the way down and that's okay. So you got the pistol, which is leg forward. Leg back is a little bit easier. Okay, 15 each side, same with the right. Ooh, I have more challenge on this one. So, yeah baby. Get to that 15, all right, okay, so, if you're doing two legs, I'm sure you got to the 15. So, push-ups. Let's just do a standard push-up grip, okay? Standard push-up grip would be this uh, double bend right here. This grip right here gives you a little bit more angle. Some people like that for more adduction. You can always put your feet on something, right? Make it a little harder. Try to get that full range of motion. You're gonna hear me breathing. This is a circuit. Circuit training is no joke for cardio, right? Get some endurance. Get that full range of motion though. A little bit more freedom right there rather than right there. About five more. Two. Three. Four. And five. Oh yeah, baby. Woo! Okay. The deadlift is the squat turned around, right? So if this is the squat position, now you're facing me, right? The deadlift is gonna be flipped around, but I like to do that. Now the angles are coming together like a house, right? That's how you're gonna stand on it, just like that. Yep, let's try it. This puts that stretch in the hamstrings and calves, right? Okay. Try to get all the way down to the toes. That's what we're looking to do. If you can get a little bit lower, let's go a little bit lower. A uh, little bit of a bend in the knees allows for that muscle belly of the hamstring, right? When you, when you lock your knee, you're gonna feel that gastroc in the calf. That's why I always, put, I always put a little bit of a bend in the knee. I still get the stretch, I still get some glutes, you still get some lower back, but I get the muscle belly. Let's go about three more. Good. Two, and three. Now, remember, you also have the single legged deadlift. Okay, same thing, same principle. You can use weights if you need to. Single legged def deadlift, 15 on each leg. That'll get you there. But that angle, now, if we come around to this angle, <laughs> that's your big boy. <laughs> that's your steep angle right there. Now the stretch begins. Don't only do this when you're warmed up though. You see that stretch there? That puts the stretch in, that angle right there. Right here. Why not? Let's get some Nordic curls. So we bring the toe down into the floor. Wrap the foot in, and we're locked in. There we go. All right, I don't know how many we're gonna get, but take your time with it. 
You can push yourself up. The key is to go down as slow as you can. Give yourself a little push. Oh yeah. Nordic curls are more about the eccentric, not so much the concentric. So you're doing an ultra big load on those hamstrings, right? That's the key. Okay, they're burning. They're burning out. Let's go two more. Let's do one. Two more. Yeah. Oh. And good. I think we could use the band for assistance next time. All right, baby. That's good. We're going to try the abs. Turn it around. Now you're going to put your toe on the low part. We were using more of the high part. I wear about a size 12 shoe. So, you know, I used a little bit more out here for the Nordic curl. I'm going to go in a little tighter for the crunches, right? So we can do this however you want. Anyway, it just locks you in. That's the beauty of it. So we can do this. We can do this. Okay. We give it a little bit of a punch. We're going to do 15 of these. Yeah. You see, you see me doing these in the promo video. So you already know these, right? Yeah. Now we'll do two with the hands behind the back. Actually, hands overhead. Yeah. A lot harder. Hey, all right, baby. That's how we do it. All right. All right. This is my version of the dip. Here's what I want you to do. Looking at the blade just like this, in this shape right here, I want you to put your hand just like that. So normally, this is how I would recommend doing dips to begin with. You'd actually put them in here and then do the dips. Okay? That's how I do it. A little bit wider, probably. Let's go a little wider. Okay, that's much safer, right? You put your feet up. You can do those dips, okay? My version, that's how I want you to do this if you're feeling a little uncomfortable about this because this gets a little challenging. So get that hand right there, okay? Lock it in place. And we do the dips like that. Yep. And they like to slide on the carpet. So I, I sell a tape online. It's a goat tape. It was made for lifters and uh, people who work out. So it's not exactly standard athletic tape. It's actually better. Provides that grip. So I just tape the bottom of the tape the bottom of the blades. You can also tape right here for push-ups for grip. So you could tape your grip area. I'm not done though, right? <laughs> Nick's not done. He's got more to do. Here's your dips, man. And this would be so much harder if my feet were up. <laughs> okay, that's a burnout. If 15 is too many, obviously you just go to fatigue, right? All right, one more. One more exercise. We're going back to the push-up, except it's a close grip. So what I like to do is I like to make a heart shape with these things, okay? Makes a little upside down heart. And that's how I like my grip. Now my fingers are fall, fall over, so I don't have to put my knuckles down and I don't have to put my palm flat. Because look what that does to my hand, right? Lots of pressure on the wrist. So let that hand fall over. We're gonna do some close grip push-ups. This is the way I like to do it. It follows right in line with the elbows. Not as hard as the dips though. Uh, okay. All right. I think that's our little workout. Now, I want three sets of that. I don't have to do it. I showed you. I need two more sets from you. That'll get you a 24 minute workout. Go through this cycle two more times. I'll know if you didn't, right? The computer watches, I see everything. You're now a member of the Blade X family. Uh, I wanna thank Success Fitness, as always, for giving us a wonderful place to show you guys this stuff. Do it again, two more times. Let's go.